Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becca and today we're doing some plant chores and this video is also sponsored by Brooklinen. We are going to be moving my cactus outside. That is pretty much the first objective. We are going to tackle my office guest room-ish situation. So let's go in there. All of my cactus and euphorbia has been in this room on this cabinet thing all winter long and with the temperatures being pretty good lately. I believe it is time to move them outside. Now, I really prefer to move my cactus out sooner than everything else because they can handle a bit lower temperatures. It is now going to be in the mid 40s for like two days and then we're shooting back up to like the low 60s and 50s for the lows this week which is just amazing. Like spring has sprung so early. I'm not gonna trust it to like plant stuff out in the garden yet, but generally speaking, I think that we're doing really good as far as the weather warming up and being able to put at least these outside. I'm not gonna put my tropical house plants outside for at least another month or two. I like for the weather to be more in like the 60s, the lows to be in the 60s to trust having my houseplants outside. Um, and basically I just want my ficus outside at this point and I have a big Monstera deliciosa that I'm gonna put back out there and my Thematophyllum bipinnatum is also gonna go back out there and both of those have looked so good through the seasonal, I don't know, the off season being inside in like kind of dark places. So I'm really excited. So I'm just gonna grab like as many as I can without poking myself and we're gonna move them outside onto my bench situation that I have out there. Okay, so there are two more that need to come out here, but because they're euphorbia, I'm going to wait a little bit to bring them out because they don't do too well with the lower temperatures. But probably in just a few days, I'll be able to bring it out. I don't think that it'll be too much longer. All of my cactus are now outside and I can now put other plants on that area. Um, but this room is sort of like a dumping ground, honestly. It's our guest room and we had some guests here a couple weeks ago and I haven't done anything with the room since then. Um, but I would really like to revisit this room and like repaint and just like do things with it. But that's to be determined. I currently took down all of the little vases, the propagation vases I had in here and I put them in the plant room and I put this art just sitting on the bed. It's not actually gonna be there forever, but anyway, I don't really know what I wanna do with it and I need to sort of make some decisions because I don't like this room feeling like this, but one of the things that I'm super excited about is we have new sheets for all of our guests. Thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. I love their sheets. We've been sleeping on them for a couple of years now. When I went on their website, I was shook at this color. This is the moss color and it's just the most beautiful green. I absolutely love it and I thought that it would look really pretty with a striped duvet. It kind of reminds me of like a hotel bed and that's how I want my guest room to feel. And also, this smells so good. I pre-washed them so that they would be ready for guests whenever we have our next people here. Obviously, we know that high quality bed sheets are expensive, but Brooklinen is really great because they cut out the middleman and you're able to get these bundle sets and really nice sheets for affordable prices. One of my like big adult upgrades was having nice sheets and like several sets of nice sheets so that anytime I needed to wash my sheets, I could just pull out my extra pair and put them on the bed so I would never have to walk up to my bed and be like, all my sheets are in the washer and I forgot about them. You can also save 25% with the hardcore bundle. It includes the duvet cover, two extra pillowcases, which I got to match the duvet cover I got, and then a sheet set. So the fitted sheet, the top sheet, and then two pillowcases. Oh, what are you doing back there? I'm so sorry. This is basically Leo's bed and I have to un uncover him. I'm sorry. You can click the link down in the description box below to get $20 off of orders over $100 or more by using the code Becca De La Plants. Again, my code, Becca De La Plants for Brooklyn and I'll have it linked down below. 
The only other thing that I've really got going on in this room specifically, well, actually we do have a lot of work to do in this room, so I'm not even gonna act like we're wrapping up in here. So as I said, I have my euphorbia in here still. I'm gonna put this down so that I can just clean up. Uh, oops, this euphorbia made me think that it died last year, but actually these leaves just kind of die off and it will grow new ones this summer, which is great. These wood planks are excellent saucers. Remember, I almost threw them in the burn barrel, but I decided to keep them. And they might go in the burn barrel <laughs> this year. I don't know. I don't really have much of a use for them if I'm not using them for this specific application. Okay, this is temporary, again, these two, but these are like more permanent. Now, something that really needs to get done is these two ficus desperately need to get watered. Okay, it's actually so dusty though. I feel like I should just take this outside and wipe it down and water it with the hose. Can you see all of that? There's like three dead spiders on it. One, two. Okay, just two. <laughs> Still, it's scary. Look at Cooper out there sniffing that cactus. <laughs> He's like, what is this? When did this get here? <laughs> Cooper is all of our husbands when we bring home a plant randomly. Like, mm, I don't know about this. This doesn't look right. <laughs> Where did this come from? It's actually such a nice day outside too. Like, I have a lot of other watering to do and I might just do it outside on my table because it's like dreamy weather it's overcast but i think it's probably like 68 to 70 degrees right now i'm realizing that i have two of these like mediocre looking enjoys so i think i'm going to quickly just pop them together <laughs> got these plants outside overnight they look fine i mean i don't think that it dipped to be that cold sorry it's super bright i don't think that it dipped to be all that cold maybe this means that i can leave the ficus outside at this point which would honestly be ideal because i want to get them out of that corner of that bedroom but i don't know where to put them if not in the corner of that bedroom so i think i'm actually just going to put them out here they live where that pot is that is the old mama monstera pot which is so big and I think that I'm gonna put annuals or something in it because why not? I don't know. Maybe I'll just sell the pot. But I just feel like any big pot that I have is a cool opportunity to freaking put some annuals in it. So I'm super excited to go annuals shopping. That, all of that stuff will be on my vlog channel because I do all my garden content on my vlog channel. Okay, sorry, the exposure is going really overexposed to really under sorry for all the whiplash but i'm just bringing all of these in real quick before i forget again and the monkey tail cactus is now outside which was right here so i'm just gonna put this philodendron there instead Koopy, what are you doing oh is that your stick <gasps> is that your stick yeah sticks go outside okay good boy it might be a bit of like a shock to them to have all of this light now, but they usually adjust just fine. I just kind of do like a trial by fire. Just put them right out in the sun and see how they do. Um, the cactus did great overnight. Excited about that. I have to package up some plants to send to Nicole and I'm gonna take them to the post office today, so we need to do that. And I want to do some air layering. We're finally air layering my Anthurium baluanum. She only has two leaves right now and this huge long stem. And I've been talking about doing this for years, I think. So we're finally gonna do it and I'm really excited. I just took a bagel break because I didn't want it to get cold. <laughs> I am doing a little bit of a, a DIY because I don't have saran wrap, but I do have this bag 
So I'm just gonna cut, I don't know, a section. I'm probably gonna like, I have moss, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place. How you air layer is you're basically like putting the plant in a propagation setup without actually detaching it from the mother roots, which, you know, for a lot of plants is really helpful because if you're feeling iffy about propagating it, uh, you're particularly attached to the plant or, you know, it's a hard plant to propagate, you can essentially create an entire root system before you even detach it. So transition from being with its mother stem and root system to on its own will be minimal. I think maybe if I cut this, it might shoot out another growth piece. I don't know exactly, but we do have some roots like coiling up around the edge of this pot, which is so funny. Um, Anthurium roots are just their own type of wild and I love seeing them. They're like noodles and it's the best. I'm gonna make the bag like as big as I can. And I think using like tape to close this up would be great. I'm gonna use these rubber bands because it's just what I have. You know what would be like the easiest is if you had that cling wrap because then it would just, you just make like a ball of moss and then you just cling it around. That would be the good stuff right there. You would not have to worry about it falling off really at all, I would presume. The thing is, is you wanna make it so that you can have an opening to wet the moss. You can also do this with soil. I am not gonna do that. Obviously I'm using the moss, but you could use soil. I think that there's a product actually that is like a little cup or something that you can just like attach here. I feel like I've seen that somewhere, like some plant person invented that. I should buy it. <laughs> I'm just wrapping around and I'm going to get a rubber band around the bottom to secure that. Cool. And then you're basically just like zhuzhing the sphagnum moss around as many roots as you can. And it's, it's really that simple. I would like to get more moss around the front here. So I'm just gonna move that. Hey, is it the prettiest? No, but does it get the job done? Yes. I'm really excited to see how this is going to do. I'm, I'm hopeful. I think it'll be good. Look at this massive plant. Okay, I can't even like put it up here because this pole is just way too long. I actually need to just put it in a different pole because this is absolutely ridiculous. I had such high hopes that it would get that big, but it did not. And I need to just, I need to cut my losses here and pot it in with a different moss pole. I'm gonna do just exactly the same thing, but I think I'm just gonna do it right on this. I've already air layered this plant before, responded really well, I was able to propagate it, but something happened. I think maybe just my neglect and then we lost all the leaves from these four nodes and now it just looks stupid because there's this like tuft of leaves at the top that are very beautiful but then it's just like empty skinny plank. So we are going to rectify her situation. Oh my God, my hair is in this sphagnum moss. You know what? Extra nutrients, I guess. This is a lot easier to do it laying the plant down like this. And then just tie them together in the back. And there we go. When it comes to watering it, I think I could probably just like open this up like that and just soak that. So that'll be good. Very good, it looks like a little candy pop. <laughs> All right, back to the plant room. Okay, these are two plants that I need to send to Nicole. If you listen to the podcast, you heard the episode where we discussed that. I was just going to give these away, or not give them away, I was going to sell them on Marketplace. And then she was like, maybe I'll take them off your hands. And I said, please. I really don't wanna get my finger stuck in the bottom hole because that happened to me once and it was really quite scary. Actually, I had a little bit of an anxiety freak out because <laughs> I thought my finger was gonna be stuck in the plant pot hole. Wow. <laughs> How am I going to send these, you might ask? Well, if I had a plastic bag, which I, I think, well, I just cut up a plastic bag. I've got these two bags that I think probably washed out and re am reusing or whatever. I think I'm just gonna shove it in that and then like tape up the top so that 
soil doesn't leak out because this plant will be totally fine not having a bunch of soil around its roots. I might not even need to tape that. I don't really wanna mess with the leaves. There's one ZZ. And now I have this beautiful pot I can do whatever I want with. This is just, I love this terracotta pot. It's so pretty. This one should be significantly less packed. And you know what? She probably could have used a repot because there really was not a lot of soil in that pot. Practically none. Maybe that's why it wasn't very happy. See, no, don't wanna keep it now? No, we can't keep it. We are not keeping it. We are giving it to Nicole because she can use a Raven ZZ and a regular ZZ. All right, I just need to find a box somewhere in my house where I can just kind of put them like this, like bunk beds. I don't have much in the way of boxes, but we do have this diaper box. I don't think this is gonna work for this larger size. Ugh, yeah. I need one of those long triangle boxes and I think I'm gonna have to wait until I get to the post office to completely seal it all up because I think that this will work in one of those but I don't think I have a box big enough because this is kind of long. So I'm gonna bring polyfill. A lot of people are using this lately to um, package plants. I just dropped something, where did it go? And I think it's a really great idea. So I'm gonna bring that and then I have my own tape because the post office does not provide tape. So I'm gonna go do that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and hanging out with me and doing plant chores with me. And thank you to Brooke Linen for sponsoring. Definitely go check out their linens. You will not be disappointed. I love them. Where's the beginning of this tape? Is it right there? I think it's right there. This is actually proving to be a lot harder to send these than I thought it would be, but they're just not fitting in any of the UPS or USPS boxes and I cannot find the triangle box. So I'm gonna be seeing Nicole in like May. So I'm going to repot these and bring them to her then.